else so I have kind of an exciting video for you guys today I am going to be reviewing and showing you guys how to use Wearlizer Apple watch watch bands I got these from a shop off of Amazon so I will link all of the watch bands in the description box below so if you want to get your hands on any of them you are more than welcome to do so also each of the bands that I got came with this little business card and it says register for 24 months a total warranty um, so you get a free 12 month extended warranty on the bands which I think is really really cool because a lot of places don't offer that and the fact that these are nicer bands is really really cool that they offer that extended warranty and here is their little card if you want to shop their Amazon again I will post not only the links to all of the watch bands that I will be mentioning in this video but I'll also post just their shop link in general they also have bands for like Fitbits and all kinds of other smart watches as well not just Apple watches so anyway yes without further ado let's get on into these watch bands. Real quick I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how easy it is to remove the bands from an Apple watch. Again I have the series 3 so I'm not 100% sure if this applies to the other models. I'm pretty sure that it does but if you flip your Apple watch over you'll see that there are these little buttons on the top and bottom right here. In order to remove the band you just simply press that button down and slide the band out. So there is one part of the band off and then again to the other side. I'm pretty sure that you can slide it either way and it will come out. This is what the Apple Watch looks like all by itself and all naked. So now if you want to attach a different band or another band, um, you take your band like so and you'll see that one side has a little shiny silver piece where the other side usually doesn't. The silver piece is what is going to be face downward. So imagine matching the black with the black and the silver with the back. <laughs> Basically you just flip your watch over and you just see the grooves right where the band usually goes. You just slide that again. I think it's, I think it can go in both ways. Yes, it can. And you just line that middle piece up with the button on the bottom. And there is that. And then if you want to do the same thing to the bottom, again, you want to be looking at the silver piece. Slide it in. And there. It's that easy. That is how you change out your Apple Watch band. So I totally love these bands. Oh my gosh, they are so gorgeous. Okay, so the one I have on right now is just this beautiful, beautiful, kind of like subtle, basic, but very still stylish one. And it is so cute. I absolutely love the color of this one. Um, it is kind of reminds me of like a rose quartz and then the rose gold detail right here looks kind of just like the same gold that is on the watch itself which is awesome so I have the Apple watch series 3 38 millimeter so that gives you guys guys kind of an idea of the size and everything like that on the bands if you guys want to see a full video all about the Apple Watch itself and my reviewing of the watch itself, once I do that video, if it's not up already, I will link it on the screen right here in this top corner so you can go there and watch my review all about the Apple Watch, but this video is basically just going to be about the bands for it. So that is the first band that I have. Um, the second band is actually the same exact style, it's just in a different color. And this one is more of a neutral sh type shade or color. And this one kind of reminds me of like a leopard or a tiger. This one will be great to pair with like my cowboy boots and stuff when I go to the fair during the summertime and such because it is more of a kind of neutral deep shade. It's not so like pastel and cutesy and girly. It's more dark which I don't hate. I actually thought that I was not gonna like this one as much as I do but because they are so just like 
comfy and secure to wear I can kind of I can deal with this one I kind of like the color of it and like I said if I pair it with like boots and stuff it actually stands out really nicely on my skin tone as well because I am so fair skinned but the detail on this is beautiful you can see it's the same as this one right here but I'll show you on this one um, quite a few of their bands have this beautiful spot in the middle right here that says wearizer and if you push the two buttons together it opens up the center piece right here so when you are putting it on that is how you put it on and take it off you kind of open up that little clasp and then you just shut it back if I can do this here <laughs> you kind of just like snap it back on and I love these watches mainly for the fact that they are completely adjustable I have super, super, super tiny wrists, so sometimes finding watch bands that aren't too big is kind of a struggle. I mean, you can get some off eBay and Amazon and stuff, but I really like these ones because, like, no matter your wrist size, you can customize the size of them by removing the links. And with these, they actually include a tool... That you can do that with so not only are you getting the watch band itself but you're also getting the tool to be able to customize it completely to your own personal wrist size and I love that so much so real quick I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to remove the links of these watch bands using the nifty little tool that comes with them so first and foremost you'll see that there is like a little needle side to this tool and what you're gonna do is you're first going to spin this little knob so it opens up this area right here because that is where you are going to slip the watch band into and you want to make sure that the needle is up high enough so that it allows the band to fit perfectly in this little notch right here. So you will see these little pins sticking in to the band holding the links together and you want to line up the band where that pin is with that needle end of the tool and once you do you just start twisting the tool downward and pay attention to the this end over here because you will start to see that little pin coming out the other side and once you see that then you can go ahead and twist the needle back up and out remove the watch band from the tool pull the little pin out and disconnect the links now depending on how many you want to remove you can do that to many at a time or just one or two or whatever and then to add the links back in you just take the pin and put it back in the exact same way that you took it out and you'll notice that it won't go in all the way and that is fine because then you take the tool line up the other end of the little pin with that needle push it back in and boom there your link is back so that is how you add and remove the links using the little tool that comes with the watch bands and then the next one I have here is kind of the same style as well. It has the piece that opens up in the middle that you can put it on with. Except this one is a combination of the two. Like, it's really cool. It has that pink shade in the middle right here going down the band. But then it has like a deep gold accent along the outside edges which I think is so beautiful absolutely love that so again it's not oh yeah it actually is the same kind of like rose goldy color as this one right here so it's pretty similar except this one has more gold accent to it it's absolutely beautiful and even if you wanted to be super creative you could buy the two styles like this and take some of the links from this one and put them on this one and do like a cool little pattern or something like that so you could buy multiple watch bands and kind of mix and match them with the ability to be able to remove the links you can just remove some from this band and put them on this one or vice versa and I think that is so cool because it totally opens the door to customizability and it's kind of unique and you don't see it a lot so this is really really cool and then the last two that I'm going to show you guys these are two completely different styles I absolutely love this one this one is gorgeous it is a beautiful rose gold one 
and it is so gorgeous. It has some little rhinestones on the end right here that you can see, which is really, really cute. So again, there is this one and this one also, you can completely remove these links. Anyway, so it is very cute as well. I absolutely love this one so much, especially when I'm being a little bit more dressy and going to like weddings or special occasions like that. I would probably lean more towards this band because it is a lot more, it kind of looks more like a bracelet than a watch band and it just kind of makes it look sophisticated and elegant at the same time. The last watch band I have is kind of just this simple basic leather one right here. I can show you it to separate sides like this. This is kind of like the pink dusty sand shade that the original Apple Watch band came on my Apple Watch. <laughs> um, this one's kind of the same color and it's actually really pretty. Again, it looks very just sleek and well finished. Uh, I don't find that any of these watches have spots or pieces that are like loose or fraying off or coming disconnected or anything like that. Oftentimes if you get watch bands off of Amazon or eBay or whatever, um, you'll get them and some pieces will just be like super loose or jaggedy or like some of these seams on this watches like this will be like frayed or like coming off in certain spots and these ones are actually very beautifully done. I am very impressed with them. Um, I haven't had my watch long but I can tell the difference between a good and a bad band just in the short time that I've had it and the few bands that I have experienced and used during the time of having my watch. So this is really cool. I love the buckle color again it is just like a beautiful rose gold it has more of a matte finish so it's not so shiny and glossy but it is still gorgeous um it's just i love that this one has double of these little loops so that you can really secure the strap this piece right here so you can really secure it down depending on how loose or tight you are adjusting it I love that it has two of those loops because even on belts you'll find that it only has like that one loop and then sometimes you stick it in the loop and then it, there's just like not another one there so you have all this like leftover just flapping around and the fact that this one has two is really cool and you can completely and totally adjust the second one which I love there is the last watch band very beautiful and again these are all the wear Lizer brand i am super super impressed with them overall i'd probably give them like a 9.5 out of 10 maybe even 10 out of 10 just the fact that you can customize the size of them completely is so helpful and so amazing and I am very, very, very impressed with these. And I highly, highly recommend them. So if you want to get your hands on them, again, I will link them all down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite watch band was that I showed you guys. And if you have an Apple Watch of your own. And or if you have any of these bands. Or if you are thinking about getting them after seeing this video. Also, let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a full Apple Watch band collection. I have quite a few, not just all of these, but I have some other ones that I've gotten as well. So if you'd like to see a full watch band collection slash accessories that I've gotten for my Apple Watch, please let me know down below. If you want to get your hands on them, links will be below. And with that, I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!